Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. So I've been getting a uh, bunch of questions regarding uh, the projectors that I have, especially the Bone Maker Parrot One. Even though I have a bunch of them, I have uh, many different kinds of uh, brands that you probably never heard of, like Hampao and uh, Ape Man and Venkyo. Maybe you heard about the Venkyo. But anywho, uh, majority of you have been asking me about projectors and it seems that a lot of you are interested in projectors due to the fact that projectors have become more affordable and they're using a LED lamp, uh, not your traditional old lamp. Now they're using the LED lamp which can last you much, much, much longer and they're much cheaper to replace. So I think projectors are becoming more affordable. Uh, you can get a really good projector for $200. The one I have here is the uh, Bowmaker Parrot 1. It's uh, 6,000 lux LED lumens brightness. That's basically what it is. It's the uh, projection of a peak brightness of how much of that light is being projected and magnified from that LED lamp and it has a 8,000 to 1 contrast ratio it uses the in-plane switching which is the IPS um, and that IPS it's being projected and magnified through a lens onto your screen that's just in a nutshell me trying to explain to you as to how it works so can you game on this thing yes for $200, not only can you watch movies, not only can you uh, watch your favorite sports, but you can also play video games. There's a PlayStation 4. I have a PlayStation 4 Pro and PlayStation Now with a Resident Evil 4. We're going to go ahead and start playing Resident Evil 4 right now, just so you can see how well it looks and how well it plays. Please do keep in mind that these projectors are only 1080p native, okay? You cannot upscale to 4K. Uh, they don't have an upscaling chip. They don't have a pixel shifter. So therefore, uh, they're not DLP uh, projectors. All right. Uh, DLP is a different type of uh, rotating uh, wheel that can shift every and each pixel along with the color wheel, RGB, RGB, that can produce a 100% color accuracy on 709 and BT2020. Now, for those of you who don't understand what the Rec 709 is and BT2020, uh, I might have to do a video separate on that to dissect it and, and explain it to you in the basic terms. Uh, if you want to know, just in short, what it basically stands for is the, uh, the color of measurement of color spectrum, you know, how much of color can you produce and uh, how accurately are those colors going to be produced so that's what that basically is all right so here we are this is a Capcom my favorite Resident Evil 4 and uh, as you can see uh, I mean it looks pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and start the new game and uh, let's click And even with the lights that I have here, obviously the idea is for you guys to turn off all the lights. Projectors are meant to be played uh, with total isolation and, and darkness. That's where you're truly going to appreciate a that movie experience is when, when you are watching a projector in a isolated, closed dark room you know that's where the appreciation is going to happen meaning that these projectors are really not made no projector it's made for you to be used outside guys uh, okay projectors are really meant to be inside in a dark room Otherwise, then uh, what's the point of you buying a projector if you want to be putting it outside, you know, so. But let's see how Resident Evil 4 
looks and how it plays. Let's go check it out. And, you know. Oh, it seems to look pretty good, though. This is a 133-inch um, screen. I have shrinked it down from 155-inch to 133-inch, and uh, I have to say it looks pretty good, though. And another thing I want to say, uh, guys, is the PlayStation Now, how come no one is talking about PlayStation Now? Uh, for ten dollars a month, I think you get a far better value out of all these other services. You know, what kind of value are you getting with Google Stadia? You know, for ten dollars a month, uh, what kind of value are you getting with five dollars a month with uh, only six hours of playtime through GeForce Now and Nvidia uh, X Cloud? It's only on phone, but G. I mean, but the PlayStation Now uh, they got over seven hundred plus games guys close to 800 games they have from ten dollars a month and some of those games you can download them to your playstation you can play them on your pc close to 800 games i think it is 800 games i think you get a far better value with playstation now in my honest opinion uh than any of these other services for ten dollars a month and, and it's really it's really interesting to see how many people are not talking about playstation now uh it's almost like they're biased against it or, or for whatever reason playstation now is probably your best bet right now guys uh they got 800 games and i'm pretty sure by the end of spring this year they'll probably have something close to like 1200 games uh, you know, they keep growing their library, and uh, it's just kind of bizarre to see that not many people are talking about PlayStation now. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, this is the original uh, Resident Evil 4. Or actually, this is, I'm sorry, this is remastered HD edition. I'm sorry. This is the uh, uh, remastered HD edition. Original one was on GameCube, as far as I remember. This is the uh, HD edition Resident Evil. And uh, as you can see, I mean, this projector, it's really, it's really good. When you consider the fact that it's $200, uh, you can play movies... You can play video games. You can watch your favorite TV shows, music. Um, honestly, uh, that's why I'm doing this video. Just to show you that, hey, uh, you will not going to be disappointed with uh, purchasing this projector. Okay. And also, don't use that cloth for the love of God, guys. I've seen plenty of you guys using that cloth that comes for free uh, in, from Vankio and, and Bowmaker. That cloth, it's not good material. Just project it onto a wall like I'm projecting. For, for the love of God, guys, please don't use that stupid cloth. I'm sorry, but just uh, please don't do it. <laughs> uh, is there some input lag? Uh, a little bit. A little bit, you know, like a, a slight input lag. It's similar to what you would experience on a television, but it's pretty darn good, um, you know. The fact that I'm playing this uh, on a projector on a 133 inch, it's pretty amazing. Let me see some. I'm just testing it. Oh, nice. Pretty good. Now, if you guys would like to know more about the Bowmaker Parrot 1, I do have videos on this projector. 
uh, please do go check out those videos and everything's explained. This projector has a uh, 8,000 to 1 contrast ratio and uh, that's pretty darn good if you ask me uh, for projector at this price point and 6,000 lux brightness of uh, light with 8,000 to 1 uh, contrast ratio and in plane switching which is the IPS that's being uh, projected right here the color it's okay you know the color accuracy here it's a decent at, at best you know it's not the greatest it's just it's passable okay like the color accuracy on this projector it's not gonna blow you away it's not gonna make you go oh my god but it, it's good okay let's just say it's good okay it's not the greatest it's not the worst but it's good it's just good okay and um, here I am PlayStation now Resident Evil 4 I'm playing it and you know no issues no problems uh, runs great now remember uh, to, to truly understand how's the latency how's the input lag you gotta hold the controller in your hand you'll just have to take my word for it uh, that it's pretty good okay and when I say pretty good it is pretty good okay if mr. 4k tells you it's pretty good you can take it to the bank it is pretty good and this is PlayStation now I'm not even playing it locally I'm playing it from a cloud so uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to do this video really quick. It's recorded in HDR, and uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. And uh, let me know what you think. You know, uh, are you going to be purchasing a projector anytime soon? Please do let me know. And if you are, tell me what kind. Are you going to be purchasing a uh, Vankio V630 or? Uh, Vivi Bright or Bowmaker Parrot One, let me know. Let me know down below. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Take care.